Okay, so hi everyone. Now it's our first video with my new camera. Okay, so yeah, I'm very happy about that. Here we, I will check about the quality of this video. Okay, so for that now I have the Hilti TA706. Okay, and we will check what's wrong with it. I will try to turn it on. Okay, fuck, I even don't know that the sound is here or not when I'm talking. Okay, but I hope yes. Okay. So. Okay. The customer told that it's not happening. Have some, I don't know, the strange sound for me. Okay. So. Okay, so we will check what we get. Okay, so I will remove the chisel. Okay, I think I'll start from removing the handle. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, it's a uh, six screws here holding the handle. Okay, so I will unscrew them with the drill. Yeah, we screw this out. So really long, big screws because it's healed. It's a king of tools. Okay, so now so handle the spring. Okay, I will take everything out for my table. Okay, what I want to do now, I want to take all the housing out, so for that I need to disassemble the tool holder, take out the controller unit here, so okay, of course I'm screwing the button here. Just taking it out. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay, now we need to disassemble this one. Okay, so I will do that with a screwdriver. Of course, the grease on there. So clean it a little bit. Spring here, we need to remove it. Fuck, pliers got stuck. Okay, we'll move it here with a screwdriver. Okay, now sometimes I can check the camera screen and and check how everything is looks on the table. So that will be easier for me to show some parts or something because on the phone the screen was on the top on the table, so it was hard to see. Okay, so I will try to zoom it. Why I want to test the camera? Okay. Yeah, but it's really, really good. Okay. So yeah, I'm really happy about the camera. 
once again, I'm glad it's camera because you are watching this video. I, I received the money from that Google AdSense. So, yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay, we see a lot of grease here. Okay. It's not bad that the grease is here, of course. It lubricates the chisel and the tool holders, so it's it's not our problem here. Okay, I will just take all the greasy parts here out from the table okay that was with the handle so what we need to do now okay it's fucking heavy okay so now we have the control unit here we need to take it out of course so fuck the screw here okay on the strange screw and where it was I don't know okay but it's all dirt and greasy as you can see so <laughs> okay I'll try to find out where it was so I will screw this two screw here the two screws here so I will unscrew them to get this all plate out the controller unit out with it okay so I'll try to take it out of course starting from the cover just pull it out now the Controller unit not always going out easily, so you need to use some force here. Okay, and fuck now, where is the problem? The problem is that everything goes out. Okay, so yeah, it's a really big problem. You can see the tool holder here, is, all screws are out, so. Okay, fuck how how bad it is. Yeah, we can see the connection rod is all melted here, so we need a new one. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. That's really bad for this tool. So the parts will fall out. Okay. Okay, it's the cylinder here, on the other parts, I need to unscrew the two screws here to get everything out. Normally it's really not going out like that. Okay, I'm shocked a little bit. Okay. So... Oh, the cylinder, okay, it looks really bad inside, you can see it's all the grease, okay. If I will repair it, I will wash it all, it's, I don't know, it will take maybe an hour. It's a ring here. Okay. So, yeah, fuck, that really, really bad. It's a hammer inside. Okay, and the hammer must go out, maybe, okay, so the ring here I think is cracked, yeah, it's have a crack, small crack here. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, okay, so for the fucking fuckers, we need a new tool holder here, so okay, it will be really really expensive. Repair, okay, it's all grease here, so it will be needed to wash it out. Okay. So now we can get here to the house and go okay. Fuck, that's very, very bad. Okay. I will just take the parts out. We'll change the gloves here. After taking the parts, okay. Okay, now it's no different. Where's the grease or the dirt? Because it's all all dirty. Okay, the screw. So. What more? Okay, for me, for this tool, it's almost the end of the life. Okay, I'll change the gloves and we will change the connection rod. Of course, in the case like this, I will change it if it's healthy, so I will still change it. Okay, so. What we have here, we can we can unscrew the screws here to disconnect all the controller unit, or of course we can do it like that. Okay, this one goes here. So you can see the bolt is damaged here and here. Okay. okay, maybe two big one. Okay, so it was a free screws here. Okay, we'll try to open the core here. Okay, it's easier when you disconnect the control unit. But in other case, you are wasting your time in disconnecting the that unit, so... Okay, that belongs from you. Okay, now I will use this two screwdriver to push the housing up. Okay. Going out. What you can see, we can see the nice gears here. Of course, you need to check the ball bearings always. Okay, I think if you are assembling the tool, you need to check everything because why to assemble it again after a couple of months? Okay, so. Here's a cap. You can you can unscrew it and check them. Okay, I'll do it like that. Okay, you can unscrew it and check the the connection rod. See that it's a grease with I don't know with rubber or something here inside. So the, of course the o-ring is definitely out. So we need to change all o-rings. Okay, it's something on it. Okay, so just cleaning it. Now 
you can see the connection rod. So yep, it's it's held. Okay, but still I will change it. I will repair it. Okay, so for now that's all. We need a new O-rings, new screws, the new grease to clean it. Everything, of course. Check the housing if it's good to eat for the screws or not. If not, you can fix it or buy the new housing. I think. I think it's worth to fix it because it's really really expensive part. Okay, so for now, thank you for watching. Of course, please subscribe on my videos if you are not subscribed. And okay, see you in my next video. Bye. Okay.